While much of the NFL Combine is about the prospects, this conversation is about the coaches because I'm joined by Chargers reporter Haley Elwood and talking about Colts defensive coordinator Gus Bradley, who you spent four seasons with. What was the impact that Coach Bradley had on the Chargers organization that now the Colts organization can expect? Yeah, I think one of the first things is he's just, he brings a lot of energy and he's a ton of fun. And he was so much fun to be around and I really enjoyed my time with him, even though I didn't play for him. But down in San Diego and then obviously when we moved up to Los Angeles, he brings a lot of energy and I just go back to a, a quote that Brandon Meebane, who had played for Gus back in Seattle, joined the Chargers in 2016, and he called him the white version of Ice Cube. And it literally is my favorite quote that I've ever heard. I think a player describe someone, whether it's a coach or another player to this day. And he elaborated. I was like, what does that mean? And he just said he is just the perfect storyteller. If he could be a rapper, he would be the white version of Ice Cube because Gus is a great storyteller and he just brings the energy. And so I think when you have players talk about someone like that, you know what you're getting and it's a lot of fun. That is a really high bar. <laughs> I don't know that you can get a higher compliment than that yeah. for Gus Bradley. When you look at the defense impact that he made the style of this defense you talked about Seattle of course a lot of people note the Legion of Boom era within the Seahawks defense what would you define as the characteristics of what the Chargers saw the style of defensive play under Gus Bradley that now transitions over to the Indianapolis Colts which has a strong foundation of expectation that Matt Eberflus built so far yeah, I think a lot of it goes back to his teaching style and his philosophy, and that is to just kind of simplify everything in order to have guys play fast. That's what's most important, to get after the quarterback and to play fast. I go back, I, I was telling you off camera, I was kind of going through my notes about, you know, Gus's impact on the Chargers, you know, over the last few years when he was with the team. And I remember I recall the conversation that I had with a player who was a rookie under Gus at one point in his career. And he said the simplification helped him so much because it helped him kind of stop overthinking. And when you take that element out of it, and it's not simple just to be simple, but it's to get the best out of guys. And I think he would bring a lot of that in terms of that. And so I think that's just kind of one of the things that he brings. And, and just again, kind of just being able to get after it. You saw it obviously in Vegas. Hate to bring up the week 18 game against the Chargers, <laughs> but you saw Max Crosby get after it that whole game. Um, and I think just again, going back to his philosophy of just kind of being able to simplify things and teach guys things in a way that's easy for them to understand helps them play faster at the end of the day. I caught up with Nick Sirianni, who you worked with as <laughs> a lot well. Of ties I know here. so many ties. And he was saying that Frank Reich and Coach Bradley are two of his absolute favorites. He said, I'm a little jealous that those two are together and now <laughs> and he's I'm, out. Now I'm left out. But when you have that high of praise from Nick Sirianni and then Philip Rivers yeah. was one of those who gave such a strong endorsement to Gus Bradley. What impact does it have when you have guys like a Philip Rivers have that strong of a relationship with the guy who's leading the defensive side of the ball, that dynamic? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a huge endorsement, right? And that's kind of not that you need anything else when you have a future Hall of Famer on the offensive side saying that about a defensive guy. Sure, that's great. I think that was one of the best parts about those Chargers teams that I was a part of is seeing that collaboration with a vested veteran like Philip, and also coaches who had been in this league a long time, even some new ones like Sirianni, who was very young at the time. But to kind of have everyone collaborate, and it was a lot of fun. And again, you talk about that. I mentioned the energy that Gus would bring. That's the Philip energy, too, that is hard to match at times. But it was fun to see those battles in practice as well with a guy who had been in the league for a long, long time in Rivers going up against Gus who had a lot of really great teams with Seattle and then obviously the Chargers, but a lot of fun. And again, I don't think you need a better endorsement than that. <laughs> well, the Colts spent a majority of the first part of this offseason hiring Gus Bradley and then his defensive staff, a number of names who are familiar to the Colts organization, guys like Mike Mitchell and Cato June, but also Coach Milas, Coach Smith. Mm -hmm. What can we expect those guys will have on their respective position groups as this coaching staff has now been set? I think a lot of the same sort of impact that Gus will bring those two guys bring to their position groups. You talk about Ron Milas, Milo, AKA as we like to call him. He's one of those coaches who just really gets the best out of his players. And with a secondary, I mean, the Raiders obviously last year, a lot of former Chargers came over to that group and they performed really, really well. And so you look at someone like Casey Hayward who had been with Milo for a lot of his career, obviously once he became a Charger, then went to the Raiders. Just again, kind of bringing the energy and really tapping into guys. Richard Smith, he's got a pretty good group to work with, specifically <laughs> Darius Leonard. But, um, but again, just a lot of fun. And, and I think 
you know, obviously so much of coaching is built around relationships, but being able to have guys that you've worked with at other teams that you know that you work with well and bringing that to another organization is going to really bode well for the Colts. And we have heard that, of course, Coach Bradley will have an impact on the moves that are made leading up to this NFL draft and, of course, throughout free agency. Haley, appreciate the time and sharing your insight on Coach Bradley. Thank you so much for having me.